Hello, welcome to Rico Presents Sounds of Home. We are the Raffles Institution Year 5 to 6 Chinese Orchestra. And today, we will be bringing you on an exciting musical journey, following the story of Rachel and her little pup, Rancher, as they travel through the sites and landmarks of Singapore. Enjoy! Isn't this a beautiful day? I really feel like taking a walk. Well, why don't we go and explore some of the sites in Singapore? Hmm, I want to go to a place rich in culture and history. What about Chinatown? Well, that's a clever idea. Let's go! Chinatown, or Neo Cha Shui in Chinese, got its name from the iconic bullock carts which were once used to transport water in the neighbourhood. Hey! Are you listening to me? Wait, wait, what's that? Didn't that sound like the old bulldog carts? Wait, and didn't the triangle earlier sound like its bells? Oh wait, is this a live performance by a Chinese orchestra? Let's go and listen!
Wow, that was quite a wonderful performance, wasn't it? Yes, I could imagine a day in the lives of my great grandparents living and working in Chinatown, from the flurry of activity in the day to the evening when the streets wind down. You could also hear how the four sections came together during the beautiful finale of the piece. Wait, do you just say four sections? Oh, there are four sections in a Chinese orchestra. They are bowed strings, plucked strings, woodwinds, and percussion. Each section has their own unique sounds, which all come together to make great pieces. Wow, um, I didn't know there were so many diverse instruments in an orchestra. Well, I could only recognize the xylophone. Well, you will find out soon enough. Now, where should we go to next? Hmm, I want to go to somewhere with nature and greenery. Oh, I know. Can you guess where this piece is about then? It sounds like a lively dance. What are those instruments? Oh, the plucked string instruments depicts a bustling fishing village on the Sisters Islands, a pair of twin islands beside Sentosa. It is inspired by Zapin, a type of traditional Malay dance and music. Oh, that's interesting. Well, why are they called the Sisters Islands though? Legend has it that two sisters, who were lost at sea, later transformed into the islands we see today. Oh, that's quite sad. Well, can we listen to the piece on the way there? Sure, let's go.
The sisters' islands were beautiful. All the coral reefs and sea creatures. Too bad we had to catch the boat back. Wait, where are we now, actually? This is the Singapore River, the center of life of our country. Eh, it, it sounds rather peaceful right now. Well, this place was important to Singapore during its history. Here, have a look at this. It really was quite lively back then, with all the factories and boats. Well, I still can't imagine it in my head, though. Maybe this piece called By the River Night might help capture the vibe of this place, especially the parts picked by the Di Zi and Er Hu. Oh, 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 I know. Is the Di Zi the Chinese flute and the Er Hu the Chinese violin? Not quite. Er Hu's get their name from their two strings, not the four that violins have. But whatever it is, both the Er Hu and Di Zi paint pictures of someone walking by the quiet Singapore River at night, followed by a throwback to the past when our ancestors first came to Singapore. Alright, let us hear it.
Wow, that was such a calming and melodious piece. <sighs> you know, it's been wonderful spending a day out here with you. Hey, want to hear something that will end your day with a blast? I've got a piece that is written just for you. J just for me? Yep, it's called The Dancing Park. Dancing Park? What? Who? Well, I'm not dancing. I'm telling you, it's so energetic, you're going to want to dance to this, with the hi-hat keeping the lively rhythm, and the swana keeping the vibrant melody, and piercing through the piece. Well, I want to hear it now. That was such a great piece. It made me just want to get up and dance. Can we listen to more pieces, please? I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Unfortunately, we need to get home now. Aww. But you can always listen to more Chinese orchestra pieces in your free time. There are many more pieces of different styles and eras available online, as well as educational videos explaining more about Chinese music and instruments. Really? That's great. Let's go home and watch them now. And that wraps up Rachel and Roger's musical journey around Singapore. We hope that you have enjoyed this production brought to you by the Raffles Institution Year 5-6 Chinese Orchestra. Goodbye!